Okay, let's let's get straight to the Rashi Sicha. Classic, classic Rashi Sicha, which I love, love, love. Where you know, like the, the rule of thumb is, if Rashi asks a question, now really he's bothered by another question, and the good Jew answers one question with another question. And the Rebbe likes. Uh, yeah, I got, I got, I got. Thank you. I'll take it. No, no, thank you. I got. I'll yeah, take myself. Yeah. And the Rebbe's uh, mahalach. It's that. <coughs> that sometimes the Rashi's that seem so simple and so lengths are green. Dafka, those are the ones that have an un- unbelievable chidush in the pshat, the pshutish al mikra, and that uh, the mafurshim, that uh, many of the mafurshim really they're there. Like the Marame Prague is there in the Gurarya to show how Rashi also fits with Pnimius Atoida, and I believe Mizrahi shows how how uh, Rashi goes well with the Halochish of Atoida and all the Mephorshim. But the Rebbe said, We need a Pshat, Pshat for the Mechomish Lamikra. And you don't need Lomdas, you have to just dig into the story of the Parsha Bimkoima, and you'll always find the Oymek and Divri Rashi. Okay, so let's do the story over here, read the Psukim. Then the Rashi, and incidentally, I, I quote here also from the Medrash Rabban Sifrei, who say similar to Rashi but different, which emphasizes what, that Rashi is trying not to just quote a Medrash. And this was the Rebbe's big thing that the Rashi is not a collection of Vertlach from Medrashim and Mamori Chazal. True that everything Rashi said you can find in a Sifra and a Sifrei, you can find in the Chilta, you can find in the Medrash Rabban, the Tanchuma, yes. and the Yalke Chimoni. But uh, 10 out of 10 times, Rashi says it, Bishinu Loshin. Rashi had a good memory. It's not that Rashi forgot the Lashonis. Alamai Rashi was talking not a co- <coughs> quoting Madrash, it was not a collection of Shainavetlach. Rashi was Ani Bosse Lipshuta Shal Mikna. And uh, so, so well, obviously, sometimes the Madrash also says things that are similar, but in Pshat they're different. That's what Rashi says it's different. Okay. Tonight's Chumash actually, it's uh, Monday's Chitas. Zavram Zokim Baba Yomim Vashem Beirach as Avram Bakoil. So the Abishta has blessed him Bakoil. Rashi says Begamatri Aben. He has a son. Oh, now that he has a son, he wants to marry off his son. Vayomer Avram El Avde is a Kambesoi. Hamoishel Bacholash Eloi. Simno Yotcha Tachas Yerechim. So Avram says to his Ever, Eliezer, I want you to make a Shavua. And a Shavua has to be with something which is holy. And this, the, this was. Rashi says it was a mitzvah. He didn't have other rabja. He didn't have a fear of film. <coughs> he had a bris mila. And not only did he have a bris mila, but it was chaviva of this mitzvah because it came to him. It wasn't easy. So it was very precious to him, this mitzvah. So he told Eliezer to hold on to this uh, holy object, which was the bris mila, and make a shvua. I'm going to make the shvua, not stam, he says, Bashem. You will not take a son, a, a, a wife, from my son, from the from the girls of Canaan. Did he have a convert? Who? Probably, yeah. Which I am sitting among them. You should go to my land, to my Meledis. And over there you should take a woman for my son Yitzchak. The slave says, Maybe the woman doesn't want to go with me. Shall I return your son to the land where you came from? Avram says, No. He says, No. Be careful, Pentoshev as Bni Shama. Be careful not to do something like this. Hashem Alakia Shamayim. The Abishta. Who is the God of heaven? Shalokhani Mebei Sovi Meritz Meladati. He took me from a Sovi from Meritz Meladati. Vashar Dibali, Vashar Nishbali Lehma. The Abishta spoke to me, and the Abishta also made a promise to me. And he said, Lazarach Etan Asarat Azois. To your uh, descendants I will give this land. Who? This Abishta. Yishlach Malochi Lefanecha will send his Malach in front of you to guide you, and you will find a woman for my son there. If the woman refuses to go with you, you clean from the Shvua, my son shall not be brought there. And Eliezer, the Eved, put his hand under. 
Yerech of Avram Avinu, but Yeshav Alei Lo Dovar Zayin made the Shavuot. And then goes a long story of how he finds the Kala, he finds Rivka for Yitzchak. Rashi writes, Hashem Alekei Hashem Ayim, Asher Lo Kachanim Yibes Ovi, Velo Yomar, Velekei Ha'oritz. He says Alekei Hashem Ayim, it doesn't say Alekei Ha'oritz. So what's the problem? What's the problem? Ulamayla and a few psukim earlier, four psukim to be precise. Omar, he says, Vashbiyeka, I'm going to make you make a shvu and pasa gimel. Vashem ala kesham, I'm ala keoritz. So why is it the four psukim apart? It says there, ala kesham, I'm ala keoritz. Over here, only like it says, ala kesham. Why over there in pasa gimel it says, Vashbiyeka, Vashem ala kesham, I'm ala keoritz. And over here it says, only ala kesham. So the answer is, Sadashi answers. <coughs> the Rashi says, Omar loy, ach, shogula keshamayim ala keoritz. Right now, he's shogula keshamayim and ala keoritz. Sheir gold, and bifri abriyiz. I made rogel in the mouth of the briyiz to talk about the abish. Avo keshala kachani me beis obi. When the abish took him from my father's house, hoya la keshamayim ala la keoritz. Who was the God of the heaven, not the God of the earth? The boy didn't recognize him. It wasn't Rogobarts. So, it's a simple Rashi. And there is no Mephoshim on this Rashi. Lema says that uh, before starting even the Sicha, when I'm learning this Rashi, I'm thinking to myself, you, and you just remove the question from the Posik to Rashi. In other words, here, <laughs> there's why. So, how goofa Kasha? So why is he telling him a whole thing? He's bragging over here. Oh, you should know. What's in the game that he's bragging over here? And if he wants to brag, why is he bragging punk today? The Hemshech HaPsukim is that he tells him, don't worry. You're worried that the Isha won't come. Don't worry. The Eibishter, Asher Lokachanim Beisoviv, Eretz Meladetiv, Asher Dibberli, Asher Nishbali. Who Yishlach Malach? The Eibishter is very powerful. And the Eibishter guaranteed me, don't worry. That Ebishter is very strong, and he can do things. So, and, and by the way, he's like, uh, by the way, the Ebishter is like a very good, but I'm a great guy. The Ebishter is big, but I'm a great guy, you should know. <laughs> Why is it important right now that Avram has to make the point? Is it that he's trying to say, the Ebishter is a great guy, but I'm also a great guy, and therefore I deserve Nisan? And think it'll be far-fetched to think that that's what Avram Avinu meant. So what's Taka? What is he trying to? What's the Negei Dazach? Based on what we're learning, the Rebbe Sicha understand it very well. Also, there was a Shiva Shem Be'eva. Who are they teaching this? Glata Gutakasha. The Glata Gutakasha. Chaim. So uh, let's just look first at the Medrash Rabba and the Sifrei who say similar things. Medrash Rabba is right here. It's Vashbi Yaakov in the Posse Gimel. That's the Medish. The Medish is not in the, the Rashi, it's in the later Posse. The Rashi is in Posse Zayn. Uh, the Medish Rabbish tells him Posse Gimel, Vashbi Yaakov, Vashem al Keshman, Omer Pinchas, Achelo, Yoi Daiti Yoiso, Libriyoiso, Eleke Yashamai, Mekivin Shay Daiti Yoiso, Libriyoiso, Eleke Ordes. Before I notified him to the world, he was only a Keshamai. And now he's a Leke Ordes. He he's not bothered by the, the first Posse, the next Posse. He's just dashing in that Posse. That, uh, that you should know, he tells the Eliezer, that originally he was only Lekei Shemaim, and now he's also Lekei Oretz. And then the Sifrei, the Sifrei is Bdafke in Azinu. It says, Yisevevenu Yivayna Neyu Yitzirenu Kishinayna Ad Shaloi Boya Avinu Avram Loyolom Kivyoch Loyo HaKadosh Boruch Melech it was as if the Ebishter was only a Melech on the Shemaim. Hashem alakei Shemaim, Hashem alakei Avol Mishabo Avram Avinu Lo'olam, Him Licha Ava Shemaim Valoritz. Once Avram came to the world, he was Mamlech the Ebishter on the Shemaim and on the Oritz. Kein Shemaim, as it says in the Posek, Vishpiyaka Vashem alakei Shemaim Valakei Oritz. We'll talk soon about all the the, the, the the most noticeable difference between Rashi and the Medrashim is that, uh, and we'll talk about this more bit soon. It's two things. One is that Rashi is big. Rashi is, is a little big, a lot, a lot. He said a lot. In the Medrash, he didn't say that much. Also, um, in the Sifrei, he didn't say anything to Eliezer. It's just that the pasuk is dashing. 
posuk is the the chazal are saying. Why is it that over here it says alakei shemaim and over here kids shemaim like your audits? The Torah is telling you. Now Avram wasn't bragging. Point to say my question is not a question. The Torah is telling it to you. And it's also interesting the Medrash Shabbat also has like Rashi that he was, but he didn't say so much. He didn't say so much. I have a question. Not all the time when the Torah said that automatically, alakei shemaim it's alakei aret, alakei aret, alakei shemaim. It's not the same. Shamayim va'aretz is not chadu. Hmm? You ask me a good question. Well, you see the pesukim sort of differentiate though. Mm-hmm. Sort of Why? Why are they different? This is our question. Huh? That's this our is question. our question. What are one saying to the yes of it? Exactly. That's the question. So, like you say, you you answer a question by asking a question. That's <laughs> Okay. Um, the Rebbe's style is to like to ask at least a dozen questions. So let's go through at least. At least ten of the questions. <coughs> so, Pashat Nadi Brahmaschal and Rashi. Everything that Rashi quotes is Bediuk Otsum, Kiyadua. Even a few psukim earlier, he quotes Avdez Kambese, he just quotes the two words, the Kambese. And Rashi only quotes the words that bother him. He doesn't quote one <coughs> extra word. His question is over there it says Alakeshmaim Alakea Orits, over here only Alakeshmaim. So you should just quote the two words Alakeshmaim. Why is he quoting the word Hashem? And why is he quoting the words Ashala Kachanim and Besavi? And then in the Kasha, he says, Valoy Omar Alakea Orits. He just has to say, Ulamai La Omar. Okay, so if you want to say that Ashi just wants to make it very clear what his Kasha is, he just wants to make it very, very clear. <laughs> so he doesn't make it clear. He said, Ashi says, Ulamai la Omar Vashbiaka Vagoimer. The Vashbiaka is not the, the problem word. The problem word is the Lamaila says Alakea Shamaim Alakeo audits. I mean the Pash is what's bothering Rash. In one Pasuk it says Alakea Shamaim Alakeo audits. And four Pasuk later it says only Alakea Shamaim. Why? Tastida, Akasha, Rashikitateritz. So if that was true, so so why is he saying Lamai Lamash Biakav Goimer? If really Rashi wanted to be emphatic and wanted to say his kasha, he should have said Lamai Loimer Lakea Shemaim Velakea Oritz Vikan Loimer Lakea Oritz. Ah, that would be a kasha, as they say in Yeshiva, with a grubber finger. That would be, you know, say it well. But 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 but, but if he why why is he saying that, that in this order? It's as if it's as if Rashi is bothered by something else. It's as if Rashi is saying like this. Why didn't he say Lakea Oritz? Like Sasson just asked. Why? Why? Well, the Maila earlier, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to ask a Kasha Kasha. The Maila, something in the word Ashbiaka, there's something there that makes it Ashbiaka's Kasha stronger, and it's obvious, and you're supposed to understand it. So, Shaila, what, what's Taki going on over here? So, this is four Kashas and Ashbiaka's Kasha. So, let's do at least four Kashas and Ashbiaka's Teret. So, the first thing is the obvious. That um, Rashi is different than the Sefre. Rashi is as if Avram Avinu is talking. It's Omar Loy. Omar Loy. Not the Posak is telling you. Like the Sefre said, the Posak is Meram is the godless of Avram Avinu. Avram is talking to Eliezer. Omar Loy. Omar Loy. What means Omar Loy? He told him. What did he say? So he told him something. So, Rashi, according to Rashi, is Omar Loy. He told him something. What, who told Rashi that that was the case? That he told him something? And it, the Arichas Loshen Ashi, this whole Arichas Loshen Ashi, that he told him something. Who told Rashi that he told him? And all these things that Rashi adds, all these words, who told that Rashi was there when the conversation went on? That Rashi knows that exactly he told him these things? This whole Arichas that he says? And... Um, and, and he tells him, you should know, in the time when Lekachanim Yibes Avi, then no one knew the Eibishter. Wasn't the gay at which point in history? Kishil Lekachani, in the Pasuk when it says, Lekachanim Yibes Avi, he's talking about the godless of the Eibishter. The Eibishter is Lekachanim Yibes Avi. But when he's talking about himself, that he was Makar of the whole world to know about the Eibishter. What's in the gay at which point in time they didn't know the Eibishter, now they know the Eibishter. Till Lekachanim Yibes Avi, no one knew about the Eibishter. Now everyone knows about the Ebishter. 
First of all, and it's not even so true. I mean, he was if I care it. And Tiluk Khanim Beisovi, he was screaming that there's an Abish that they throw him into a pit, they throw him into fire. Uh, so so Bhlal Zakasha technically what, what that means. But to, whatever, be it as it may, it means something. It was a higher level in 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 in, in, in uh, publicizing yeah, right. Hashem's name. Wasn't the gay at which point he publicized Adla Kuchanim Beisovi was one thing. And that, the point is he was Mafarsim that there's Abish in the world. So why is it important that he emphasizes to Liezer that until the Kohanim Beisavi, they only knew Lekei Shemaim, they didn't know Lekei Aretz. Afterward, what's Negei at which point of time, until when people didn't know? At, until this point, they only thought he was Lekei Shemaim. After this point, they knew he's also Lekei Aretz. Why is it important to know which point of time things switched? The question is, Eliezer is the Ever Abraham. Yeah. And he wants to send him to get a wife. Why does he have to give him a, a, a whole Megillah? Please tell him. Once you go here... Exactly. Yes. You got it. Exactly. Why do you have to give him a whole Megillah? Why do you have to give him a whole Megillah? And, 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 and who told Rashi there was a whole Megillah here? And also, the words that Rashi... That doesn't count, like in the Medrash Rabba, the words go very well. Omer Pinchas. Rashi, it's a beautiful sermon that Rashi picks up here. He doesn't repeat, that Rashi doesn't want to be repetitive over here, not yeshivish. Rashi wants to be, you know, more poetic. Hirgald, uh, you know, yeshivish is like very concise, not trying to, you know. If you read, for example, Svadi Poiskim, it's Kishmak. You know, you read the uh, the Chido, the Beke Yosef. Ah, uh, it's very readable, you know. You read it at the Kiva yeah. Eger. There's no, you know, the Svadi Poiskim is, you know, ah, you know, like the Chido says, Kad, Kad, Kimna, Chad, Kara, Ara, Vamina. In other words, he's saying, when I was standing with one leg and the, I, I, you know, I, in other words, this thought is not well thought through, but I just want to share it with you. But it's very readable. You know, so here, Rashi usually is very concise. Here, all of a sudden, Rashi became very poetic. He hit Omar Loy Akshov. He says, But originally, Loy Hoyu, Boy, Oila Makirim Boy, Ushmoy Loy Hoyu, Rogel Boritz. He doesn't just like the Madish, conscious. Loy Yodu, Yodu. First, he says, What's going on over here? Okay. Bottom line. Rashi is bothered by a simple question. Rashi is bothered by what we said before. What's in the game of this whole thing that he's telling everyone you should know? Uh, he's telling Eliezer, you should know that originally no one knew about the Eibishter. It was only Lakea Shemaim. And now it's Lakea Aretz. What's Nagei right over here? Obviously. It's nothing to do with Nothing to do with there. Right? Exactly. What's, 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 what's Nagei here? Elamai. Elamai. <clears throat> well, the beard is like this. What's bothering here something is something else. And, uh, he makes a make a shvua. Eliezer, Eliezer has a problem with this thing. Eliezer has a question. And it's obvious that Eliezer is going to have a question. He says, I don't want from Benoist Knani. And he says, Asher anoichi yesha bekirboi. I mean, yesh doish and lignai. Some that like Mepharshim say, Asher anoichi yesha bekirboi. And I know they're all rotten apples. But, but, I mean, he, Osh, Eshkel, Oner, Amamre. They were good guys. They were friends. Balai Bris Avram. Avram didn't, everyone was enemies. He had good friends. They advised him to do the mitzvahs. They advised him this, that. He had good friends. Oh, what about his oh. Ali Chuva? Ali Chuva. Yeah, tremendous. He, had, good, he had good well, guys. He, What's wrong with them? Yeah. Well, so what's wrong with them? Uh, LMI. LMI. So LMI has to be that, uh, that even though they're good guys, but they're not good enough. Okay? Good. Fine. <laughs> Eliezer says they were, they're not they good enough. <laughs> I get it. Fine. So you know what? You tell me in where your family lives, over there, the better girls. So if they won't agree that the girls should move here, perhaps your son should go there. That's even worse. That makes sense? No? Because you're telling me oh, here sense, there's people and they're good friends and you have influence on them and you taught them Eshkel on the were must have been good guys. They Bali Bisavram. They were not Oiv Davoy Dazarim. By now they were serving the Rabbani Shalom. So, but still they're not good enough for making, for their daughters are not good. Okay, but over there there is girls that are really good. Okay, so if they don't agree to send their girl here, so maybe I should let your son move there. Now, don't tell me, says the Rebbe, 
that because you know a lot of pilpulim, that uh, that the Abisha said Yitzchok is a oila tmima and he's ene kedai and he can't go put slaughters. Don't tell me your pilpul. Hold it for yourself. Why? Because even Yitzchok thought that he should go down to Mitzrayim until the Abisha came to him the Fadish and told him you can't go. that you can't go. Now, if this conversation of what he ran on years ago between Eliezer and, Yit and, and Avram, why did Yitzchak even think he could go to Mitzrayim? Obviously, this wasn't... If Avram told him, it's that also that, for my son to go reason. there, that couldn't have been the reason. So what was the reason? Ah, because that pe those people are bad. Oh, if those people are bad... Eliezer is trying to understand what's going on over here. I don't understand what you're telling me. The Kliyakar answers two answers. The Kliyakar says two things. He says like this. Number one, <laughs> he, one, one is a brilliant Teretz and one is, is, is also nice. One is a brilliant Teretz. Avram was very strategic. He said the girls here, they're close to their families. You know, they, they have their menhagim, that's it, we, we, I can't change, uh, the, that's it, she does what she does. And, and she's close to her mom and dad, so what can I tell her, what, what can, you know, the girl is here. But, but, but if I'm going to get the girl to move from there here, she's not close to her father and mother, so, oh, so now she could be under the influence of Avraham Avinu. So that's what he said. It's, it was a strategic uh, idea. And the second Tedet he gives is a brilliant Tedet. Also, he says that like this: the Shloisha Shutfim Ba'adam. The, the, the father and mother give the goof, and the Abishta gives the Nishama. So if a person has, has a bad tendency, they're bad midas, they're Balkas. So it's Shaykh that their son will be a Balkas. But if he's a kind person, he is a Baal Tzedakah, Mestame, his son, is going to be a Baal Tzedakah. But you can't say, if a person, if a person learned 100 Maimorim Chassidus, and he learned three times the whole Shas, his son, Mestame, is going to learn four times the Shas. <laughs> but, but there's no, there's no connection. There's not be, that doesn't go Be'erusha. And he says, furthermore, because HaKadosh Baruch Hu by Neshama and Seichel is connected to Neshama and Amun is connected to the Shama so therefore that doesn't come from the father or mother so the people in Canaan even if they became better people but their propensity naturally is Shtufim Bezima they were bad people they were not they were not their Midas were not clean and not pure but the people in, in Eretz Meladati were good people but that's something that doesn't, that's not hereditary, it's not in the DNA. Oh. So if a girl is young, she's three years old, she'll move from here, from there here, so she'll learn from Avram Avinu to be a Eved Hashem, and she'll kick the Avod Hazor again, like the, so that's what uh, the Kliyoka says, it was all in the mind of Avram Avinu. But Eliezer Vestachnish, the Eliezer said, I don't understand what's going on. You're telling me that the girls there are so great. So what's if he has to move there? How terrible will it be for Yitzhak to move there? So this is why Rashi says that he answered this. And this is why Rashi, now you have to read the Rashi again. Rashi says, Hashem So what's going on over here? So when he says, usually we say, we say both. When you say Hashem, why do you have to add Elamai? If you wanted to add the Ebes Shvach, like Borek, Rimoisi Yodi, El Alyan, Koine Shemayim Varetz, you mentioned Shemayim Varetz. Why is he mentioning only one? If, if he if he say he says already Hashem, he wants to say the Ebes Shvach, say both, say Shemayim and Oretz. Why are you saying just like Shemayim? To make the question stronger, Rashi says Lamai Oimer Vashbiyeko. When he made a Shvua. In the middle of making a shvua, you don't start talking about the weather, or you don't start ta ta talking about uh, uh, where you get the sushi for the fabrengen. In the middle of making a shvua, you make a shvua. So he said, make a shvua b'ashem. And he throws in, elakea shemaim elakea oritz. What's in the gay? Elamai. It makes sense in a shvua because you're talking about Hashem. So madach in a shvua that Avram stopped and he said that this Abish is so awesome in the Keshmaim Keoritz. So why four psukim later when he says Hashem and he says the Keshmaim, he wouldn't finish? Often saying a lakea audits. Obviously, he's trying to give him a message. 
Obviously, he's trying to tell him something. And Rashi says, Omar Loi. He answered, he realized that Eliezer is saying, Mimon of Sheikh, it doesn't make sense. If the people here are bad and the people there are good, okay, so if Yitzchak has to move there, how bad is it for him to move there? So what, the, the, the answer, the answer was like this. Omar Loi, he said to him, Achshom, who lakea shamayim velakea arts, you should know, what's the pshat is lakea shamayim velakea arts? Shehir galtiv befea bris. They're not big tzaddikim, the people here in Eretz Yisrael. Be, uh, be I finally got through to people that there's a regilus. They used to not talk about the Abish and Bechlal. They didn't know about the, such a thing that the Abish that exists in this world. They thought it was like a Shemaim. They didn't. So now there's a regilus that people talk about it. But could I say that the girls here, the daughters of Honor, Eshkel, and Mamre, are totally new type of people? It's only Hergalt of Befri Ah, you're going to tell me. How about the girls that live over there, the edits my ladati? Those forget about it. That place is mamish terrible. Avu kishalok chanim beis ovi. As far as I know, when they when the Ebishe took me from my father's house, hoya lekeish shemayim velaloya ke oritz. Bchalal, it was a lekeish shemayim was not a lekeish oritz. So therefore, that is that is even a worse place than here. This place, there are people talk ever gilus to talk about Shem Hashem, but 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 still they're not oiv de Hashem. They have no accord on the Eibush. But I thought he he already converted more like oh, so I ain't converted them before lech lecha. But, but but I guess I guess the influence the is not the, nature, the, the influence is not that deep. And he says originally shaloi hoyu boy elam makirim boy ushmoi loy hoyu rogel baaret. What's the pshat shaloi elam makirim boy? Hakirim boy means hakora. Hakora means to have a, a deep recognition. The Eibushter and Shmoya Rogel Baoritz means not only they didn't have a recognition, but there was no, but there was no regilus to talk about the Eibushter Baoritz. Why? Because Rashi says in Parshas Bereishis, Oz Hucha Likre B'Shem Hashem that they started using Shem Hashem for Chulin. They mm -hmm. instead of saying Hashem and meaning the Eibushter, they called the Avoy Dezores. They called Hashem. They started making Shem Hashem Chulin. Shmoy loy hoy rogel baritz. They never used the Abish's name bechlal. So, so and the Abish did it later when he took the Avram Avinu out of the uh, out of Choron. That's when the Avram Avinu's influence in the world became strong, and started to be that he had Talmidim that did have a Korah, and it started to be that people do have a gilus to talk about it, but it's not the pshat that the whole world changed that they have a Korah in the Abish there. It's just that now here galtiv befi abrius. Therefore, he said the bottom line is that place is terrible, and this place also is not that good. Elamai, I want dafke for my family because just like the Kliyoka says that those people have have you know she's still you know the fact is that she is a she her her she's a descendant of Nochar. Nochar died because they asked him, you belong to Avram, you belong to. On which side are you? So so, he said yeah, Avram. Okay, he didn't mean it so uh, so l'shem shemayim. So he got burnt, but still he died. So Avram, that's what Avram is answering to Eliezer. Eliezer is saying, if this place is not good, so that place is. He said both places are not good. He says that place is. But there was no accord in the Eibushter, and there wasn't even rogel to talk about the Eibushter. Now that the Eibushter took me out of Choron. So take hirgaltiv befi abrius, but still that's not good enough for a shidda for my son, and that's the that's how he answers the kasha that Eliezer is asking him. How come you're sending me there to get a girl, but that place is not good enough, and the girls from here are not good? So in other words, Emes take the kliyokid is right, but the Rashi is just saying how how in the words of the pasuk Eliezer is getting an answer from Avram Avinu. Eliezer was a servant of Avram Avinu 100%. He believed in Avram Avinu and everything he did, and he saw everything that he did. When now Avram is sending him to find, he has to know more detail because he is his master, and he will do everything he will ask him, and he want to do that the best way. That's why he's asking all these questions. So Avram is answering. Avram is so answering. And Avram, answering. Avram is answering. Good. Avram is good. Exactly. And we want to know, we say that even the Avdi Ovis, that, that from this passion we learn it, 
this is the one parsha that we say every little part, every knesh, every little wrinkle of the story is spelled out in the Torah. So even these little, this little thought that uh, Eliezer had, I don't understand. Oh, what the guys, the girls here are not good, the girls there, but the place there is not good. So he answers all his questions, and that's the pshat. That's what Ashi is saying. And Ashi is taka pshuta shemikra, and Ashi is explaining what Omerloi that there was a conversation because there's a lot of psukim over here. It's going back and forth, and what's going on. So Rashi is explaining there was a good conversation going on between Eliezer and Avram. Avram said, make a shvua. These girls are not good. So he said, ah. So Eliezer thinks that place is not that bad. So what if the girl doesn't want to move here? Can I take him there? He says, no. That's so he says, that's not good. This is what's going on. See, so Avram Avinu says, I'll, I'll explain to you. There was no accord in the Abish altogether. And they weren't even rogel to say. And now, in that place, forget about it. And this place also only Hirgalt of Befi Abris. It's exactly like in the Haggadah, the Mitchila of the Haggadah. Exactly. How does this fit with the idea that Ariazel want for his own. Uh, he's also Bakhlal. Yeah. He's also Bakhlal. But he's a little different. Rashi says. He was different. Not that he didn't know the Abishta. He was Enikul from. Uh, because he was Orur. He was Orur and there was a Shaila Boruch. His, it was a different thing. Him was another thing. Mm. But this was Bakal about the girls that live in the land. It's interesting. He couldn't, like, you know, obviously, Avram Avinu had some kind of a thought, Ruach HaKodesh, that he has to take a child back from his own uh, right. family. That uh, I wouldn't think that he would need right. that. Right, but that's the, way, that's the way Tzaddikim do. We have to try to do as much as we could. But there was a time that Avram was afraid that Eliezer will take Yerusha from him. Exactly. One of the psukims right. there. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Yeah. There's a beautiful thing that Rebbe says here, Pichsidus, that we see signed the Medish and signed Rashi. And that Rashi says, Rashi should say, originally the Ebishter was not a Lakei Oretz, now the Ebishter is a Lakei Oretz. But the Rashi and the Medish also repeats, <coughs> he says, um, first the Ebishter was Al Shemayim Balabad. Fine. And then the Abish did is Allah Shemayim Baal Oretz. Later, when, I, when, I, when Avram declared the Abish a king, he was already a Lakesh Shemayim. He only introduced the Abish in the Oretz. But it sounds like that Avram Avinu introduced something also in the Shemayim. Because that's a little bit the Lashna Medish and also Rashi. That Achshav will a Lakesh Shemayim Baal Oretz. You say Achshav Gamma Lakesh Oretz. And also in the Medish. He says that himlichoi al hashemayim v'al oritz. No, Eibush was always a melech al hashemayim. Now the Rebbe says there's a very deep thing here that the shaykh is the Torah that we learned the Shabbos. The 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 maima we learned the Shabbos. The Alter Rebbe has this idea that in order to go to the lowest place, you need a strong koyach. A regular teacher could teach a regular student, but if you have a Special true, ed. yeah, you need a better teacher. And better education. And you need a better. Dafke, someone that has a more of a oimek shloima melech, who understands deeper, he can say 3,000 mashalim to bring something the deepest. Avram Avinu, when the Abish said, Leich lecha, me'ar tzacha, Alter Rebbe says that Avram Avinu, that Avram Avinu is, uh, is Avram. Ve'em Hashem al Avram, Av. Is the union of Chochma, because Ava name is Chochma Bino. And Avram, the way originally Avram Avinu was Avram, he was the union of Chochma, but it was Seichla Nelam. He was Chakam Aloy Bechochma Yediyah. And he was bringing light into Atzilas, but only the way it's, according to the way it was set up in Seyed Ishtal Shlus. The Eibishter gave him now an unbelievable koyach. When the Eibishter said, Vayyum Rashem Al Avram, Leich Lechomei Arzacha. Now, I mean, now he has to bring Kedusha into the world. <coughs> but for that he has to get Avraham. He has to get Atiko Kedusha. He has to get Tachtoyna Sheba He has to get from the Abish to himself. Higher than the He has to get higher. In order to be able to come lower, he has to go higher. In order to come lower, you have to come from a higher place. You, you can't just... How is he going to go lower? That's the Indian of Shloima. That's in Yom We spoke about this. The Rebbe once told the story about the Dubna Magid. The Dubna Magid had a, he had he had a beautiful marshal for everything. 
So they said, wow, you have a marshal for everything. How is it you have a marshal for everything? So he said, I have for this a good marshal. <laughs> <laughs> so he said that there was once, there was once, there was once an archer, he came to his friend, and, uh, and he went to his backyard and he showed him how he has, he, he throws the darts and he throws the arrows, and everything he gets in the center. Mamish, everything is bullseye. Oh, yeah. So he, he says, how could you, how is it? Never get it a drop, how could you always get mamish? I always ace it. He said, you and the other archers are fools. You don't know how to do it. Afterwards. Ah. You put up a chart, then you throw the darts. I throw the darts, then I draw the circles around it. He said, the other Darshanim, they have a nice thought. And they want to give a marshal. Give a marshal. He says, no, he has a nice story, an entertaining story. LMI, now what are we going to do? It's a nice, entertaining story. So he finds a potential for it. Obviously, he was very close to Vilna Gaon. He was not a, he was on of so he said it, but it must be truth to it too. So Shlomo Melech said, Shloy Shaloy Famach Shal, Chassidah says, not the he found nice stories, he was a storyteller. He was able to find a Indian Omuk B'yoyser and to bring it down to another level, another level, another level, and he was able to bring in a story, a story about a father and a son walking in the forest. And it was a beautiful day, and they were taking a walk. And it, in this story, an oymek shall oymek shall oymek shall oymek, and you say, ah. Now in this story, you get the point. You get the point in the story. Davka shloim melech could say 3,000 mashalom, one under the other, until that everyone can even get the point. For Avram Avinu to be able to mam shal lakus, lamata ba'odet, the Ebesh, they had to give him atika kadisha, the hey. From Atika Kadisha, the Ebesh had to give him a Tachtoyne Sheba Maitzel from the, all the Oilemers, even the highest Oilem, Etzloy, the Samach Hatzilus, close to the Ebesh. But it's an Oilem, there's no, there's no Raf. Lo Yigur Chara, there's no Klippa in Hatzilus. But still, it's an Oilem. He got the Koyach from Tachtoyne Sheba Maitzel, Malchus, Einzoyf. He got Atik, Atik, in order to be able to come down in this world. Says the Alter Rebbe in Torah, and incidentally, another thing happened. He could, uh, uh, he could never make Yehudim al Yoinim and Atzilus. He was Mamshech, whatever it was supposed to be. But now that he was able to get that extra Koyach that was given to him in order to be, bring down uh, Lamata Ba'oritz, to bring Kedusha Lamata Ba'oritz, now he was able to be Mamshech also in Atzilus. Originally, he didn't have the Koyach to bring into Atzilus a light which is Yoisa Mekafi Amida more than what was originally set up for Sayyid Ishtal Shlus. Now that he got this unbelievable koyach, for what? For the purpose, in order to be mamshech lamata ba'oritz, he was able to be mamshech also more oritz in Atzilus. Dr. Rebbe does the pshat in the Medish and Rashi, that, that the Medish says, em lichay ala shemayim ve'ala oritz. Because the Ebishter gave him a mission to bring a Lakuz down in the lowest yeah, place, low. yeah. he had to give him a stronger Koyach from Atika Kaddish. And now he could bring to the more light also in Atzilus. So now not only did he make an Ebishter king in the audits, but he was able to be Mamchich more Gile Lakuz also in Shemayim. Also in Atzilus. But that's his source. How do you. How do you because he got something more, higher than his source. The but, gave him a higher. That comes from the Abish source. Gave, because the Abish was Megala. There was something above it. He was You're sh- talking about something above it, Sibus. So he's he saying. Yeah, yeah, because even though. Uh, even Atzilis. though Avram uh, Avinu is the highest level in Atzilus, he's Avram, Chochma, Chakem, Valoi, Bechochma, Yedir. But he got something but above it. But his source is really from, the, from, higher, and the Abish re- revealed it. I will reveal your source. And, uh, and, and through that koyach, he was able to be mam shech lakuz ba'oretz. And, and that's But it. incidentally, also in Shemayim. That's the pshat that Rashi says over here. Ulamay lo amar, amalai achsho v'lokea shemayim v'lai ke'oretz. Now I was mam shech lakuz, not only in the oretz, but also in the Shemayim. There's a Tisephus oil in Atzilus and a male also in Ganeiden, which is an oil Mabria through the Avoida of Avram. The Alter Rebbe says an unbelievable word in the Maimer. The Alter Rebbe says in the Tfilin Lamashal Vayid, when it says Parshas Kadishli, one of the four Parshas, is Meramas to Chochmada Atzilus. 
he says the the kaddishli of the yids of the tefillin that you put on tomorrow morning, the the kaddishli in the tefillin is stronger even in a way than chokhmah datzilus, because when mm-hmm. you through the, the the putting on a pair of tefillin that you put on, you're doing a mitzvah, your mamshich eleke ha'oritz, your mamshich the ebish the the kedusha be able. So incidentally, there is a tesefus or even in kaddish in atzilus gufa. So. So that's the Pshat, Zakta Rebbe, the Oymek Pshat and the Medrash, and the Oymek Pshat and Rashi. That Akshav, not only they, that I made him, he should be Gam Alekei Oretz. Akshav, when the Ebishter gave him the Koyach, and the Ebishter said, Leich Lecha Me'artzacha Me'lantacha Me'savicha Loretz Shenarecho, the Ebishter gave him this special Koyach, oh, to go down, he incidentally was also Moisif now, more to Sefas Oyer and Atzilus. Now, Achshav, he will Mlichish Akadish Borchu, Allah Shemaim, Allah Oritz. We're finishing now Sefer, Sefer Kedusha. That's why we're eating uh, fish. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> the Rambam write about the Ilchos Shchite in the last Saloche. After you do the Shchite, this blood come out, and you have to cover the blood because it's a vision of the blood stay up, right? So how you cover it? Usually, shechet stand up and he shechet, and the blood fall down. So with your foot, you could just uh, cover the blood. Says the no. You can cover the blood with uh, with your foot. Ela beyado or besakino bekli. You have to do it with your hand, either with a knife or in a vessel. Why? Because it shouldn't be like a, a bizoyon, like I'm doing it by the way with my foot. No. The, the COVID is for the Evishta. And it's for the Evishta. And it's for the COVID is for the Evishta. And it's 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 for the 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 you learn that all the mitzvahs are bad chovif to the Ebeshta, and you can't result as an end mitzvah. So the question is, why do I have to take this from from El uh, Chashchita to say that uh, well, mitzvahs is chovif? Take it from uh, from uh, other mitzvahs that are really the chovif. So you figure it's something so small that I could do with my like. By the way, this is kisei adam. You talking kisei adam? About? This is kisei. Yeah. I think you need off of the kisei adam. No, you don't need kisei adam. Uh, yeah, but how? Yeah, what do you? You can't kick it with your foot. But even can't though foot even though it's dirt. on the floor, the blood is on the floor, you can't kick it. You have to take off it with your hand and put on the blood oh. to show the chivivus. Chivivus. You could actually do it with your foot, which is easier. Come the tear and sell us no. Even something so small, simple like this, you do. It is very, very unique uh, uh, mitzvah. You do bekovedik. Bekovedik. So from here you could tell for the old mitzvahs that Allah has come up the mitzvahs that we do, we should, we should have like a pleasure to do it, a unique to do it. And, uh, Are you good for the other Rasha? No. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah.